Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC government apologizes to Nigerians. Kankari schoolboys says we have failed you. Reveals what Buhari will do for them. APC government is apologizing. Now, apology we go chop. <laughs> You're apologizing on top waiting. You don't know what you have done, Abi. You guys think that we are actually without sense, right? In a country where we have doctors, I'm talking about doctors of Buku, not medical doctors. In a country where we have where we have well-read minds, just a few people are playing with the intelligence of the whole of Nigerians because you have the opportunity to be in the M of affair. APC government is apologizing, not just to the schoolboys, but also to Nigerians saying we have failed you. You have failed us was the same word the vice president of the country used when he, during the beginning of NSAS. Oh, youths, he apologized saying we have failed you. And that was the last we heard from the vice president of the country, uh, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. The same apology again, we have failed you, has come again from APC to Nigeria and Kankari schoolboys. Let's understand what the apology is all about and why they really just have to apologize without working and making sure that this does not happen or become a reoccurrence again. The All Progressive Congress has apologized to Nigerians and to the schoolboys, Government Science Secondary School, Kankari Kastina, for the trauma they've been subjected to during the six days in captivity. The ruling party assured the students that government will do everything to ensure that their learning environment is safe and secured going forward. APC also apologized to Nigerians for failing in governance and especially security and have promised that they will work at it to ensure that Nigerians are kept in safety. We know of the insecurity condition of the country and we are working hard to see to it that this become a thing of the past. The president is very consigned and is working alongside the service chiefs. See, come, stop talking about the service chiefs. These service chiefs and Buhari knows exactly what they are doing. They are just deceiving us and um, they think we are so gullible. They are just, you know, make, taking a ride of us and, you know, going along. And we are just playing along, to be very candid, Okay. This was contained in a statement signed by the Chairman Ketiko Extraordinary Planning Convention Committee, Yobe State Governor, in Abuja on Saturday. According to him, APC received with joy and glad heart the return of the students who were adopted by groups that were anti-government. Boni also vowed that the party and President Muhammadu Buhari we we'll work with the security agencies to ensure security of lives and property to be more secure, especially at this time in our country where the stakes are very high. The statement reads in part, the party also apologizes to Nigerians and especially the pupils and vow that President Muhammadu Buhari and the party will do all it takes to make sure that we continue to keep our study and the country environment safe for all to live in peace. We want to congratulate the, parent, the parents of the students and also apologize on behalf of our party that any, of, that any one of our biggest problem right now is the insecurity situation and we are working at it to ensure this become a thing of the past. We do not doubt the capacity of our service agencies. We believe we know they are capable, especially when we motivate them and lead them, especially under the Muhammad Buhari's administration. They have shown Nigerians again and again that they can handle what is happening. So this is uh, Boni, the Ketikal Extraordinary uh, Convention Planning Committee, who is speaking and saying that, uh, that they, are, they are aware of what is going on. They are apologizing. It started by apologizing to Nigerians on their failed, you know, how much they have failed the country. And I said that they're going to work at it to ensure that they don't uh, disappoint Nigerians any longer. And they're going to work at it, you know, uh, to ensure that uh, the country is safe. But we are asking a question. 
safe in what sense? What are you doing to ensure that this safety is not just a word, it's not just words of the mouth, but actually a true reality of what is on ground? You are telling us that uh, you are planning that uh, this country will be safe. <laughs> Please stop deceiving yourself because as we speak, we all know that there is no safety anywhere. The safety we only have in this country is in God. And Buhari cannot be bothered. A man that wants to work on safety but yet has sent his family to the, uh, to the United Arab Emirates. As we speak, President Muhammad Buhari, wife and children are not in the country. As a matter of fact, Aisha Buhari has long relocated. Okay, if you don't know, please know. She's not in the country. There was a time she was, they gave her an acronym saying she was the mother of the nation. She collected title, but we did not see what she did with the title. When the chiefs were down, she was the first person to quickly bail out, saying, you know, I'm not going, I'm not going to stay in a place that is not secure. She quickly left the country. So what are we talking about, talking about security? You know, there is no security anywhere with regards to this country. There is no security anywhere. The only security we have right now is the security we have in God. You know, so a lot is going on and I want to say it categorically clear that unless something drastic happens, this administration and this government is not ready to ensure life and property are safe. They keep making Nigerians go through untold hardship. Do you know what is happening currently in this country? They keep making Nigerians go through, you know, e e un undeserved you know, position that cannot even be imagined. You, you're traveling on the bus. You have to pray from the beginning of the journey till you get to your house. You are, you are at home. You have to pray. You know, there is a lot going on. You know, you know the funniest thing in this country? The ones you are hearing about is the one you are hearing. There is much more that is going on that you don't even have a clue is going on in this country. There is much more, much more. Is now in Nigeria, if the numbers are not many, if the numbers are not high, nobody really pays attention. They will tell you, ah, okay. Uh, they say 14 people die. Oh, 14 people die. Okay. It, it has become like, uh, okay, like, like, like nothing happened. Eh? That's the life of human being. But that's how degrading the government, that's how degrading our environment, that's how degrading Nigeria has become. That's how the human life has no value. It, takes, it will take God and God alone to be able to put us back on track. Listen, guys, if we don't stand up and tell ourselves the truth and stand up to decide correctly to say this is enough, we are not headed anywhere. But we'd like to hear from you. What do you think about the apology? Boni is apologizing. APC is apologizing that they have failed Nigerians. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.